Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today we will solve problem 42 of chapter 7 of Halliday and Resnick Fundamentals of Physics. Figure 740 here shows a cord attached to a cart that can slide along a frictionless horizontal rail aligned along the X axis. Okay. The left end of the cord is pulled over a pulley of negligible mass and friction, and at a cord height h equals 1 1.2 1.20 meters. Sorry. So the cart slides from x1 3 meters to x2 1 meter. During the movie, the tension in the cord is a constant 25 newtons. What's the change in the kinetic energy of the cart during the move? Okay, let's start remembering what's the definition of work done by a force. Remember that the work is, the, is a, a form of transfer energy to the system. And the work is defined as work is the integral from point one to point t two uh, f internal product, product or scalar product of f with the displacement. This is the definition of work. What's important is the force in the direction of the displacement. So let's look at the, the figure. Here we have a force, a tension in the cord that's pu uh, pulling the, the cart. Of course, here we have also the weight of the cart and also the normal force but we are not considering this force here because it will not interfere in the movement. And we also are not considering the friction. So what's important here is the tension pulling the cart. So let's represent the, the angle. As I said, the direction of the force will be important. So here we have the angle theta is the angle between the tension and the displacement. And we know the tension is constant, but the, the product of the tension, the internal product of the tension and the displace, displacement will be the magnitude of the, the tension, 25 meters, project in the x direction. So uh, we'll have here uh, the cosine of theta will appear as we project the tension. So let's write, let's write the, the expression of the work because we want the change in the kinetic energy and the change in the kinetic energy will be will be exactly the work done by the force. So we write the work will be the integral from x1 to x2 of here we have minus because the force is going in the negative direction minus 25 is the magnitude of the force multiplied by the cosine of angle theta and the integral will be in the x direction of course we must rewrite the cosine of theta uh, using x. So we can write here cosine of theta equals the 
side adjacent to the angles, that is x divided by x squared plus 8 squared. Therefore, the work will be, of course, this is constant, minus 25, integral of x divided by square root of x squared plus h squared and integrate in the x variable from x1 to x2. It's necessary to do the, to find the result of this integral. It's not difficult in this case. So here we will have h the work w the work will be minus twenty five multiplied by the square root of x squared plus h is 1.2 here squared and from point x1 3 to 1 meter And therefore, we will have the work will be minus 25 here square root of 1 plus 1.2 squared minus square root of 1 plus 3 Oh, better 3 squared plus 1.2 squared and now let's use our car our calculator here we have 25 minus 25 multiplied by square root of 1 plus 1 1.2 squared minus square root of 3 squared plus 1.2 squared and here we have Part one point seven. Part one point seven jobs. And that's it. Here the solution completely complete solution. It's not a, a difficult problem, but it's necessary to know a little bit of calculus i didn't show you how i did perform how i did this the, this integral but it's not difficult you find this integral in a table of integrals it's not difficult in fact and that's it the problem is solved mm -hmm.